Namaste, India. Namaste, Modi ji. Namaste, Minister Sindhya, Minister Chandra Sekhar, Minister Mittal, Chairman Abani, Chairman Mittal, Chairman Birla, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it's a great honor to stand with you here today, with you, Honorable Prime Minister, to open the 2024 World Telecommunication Standardization Assembly and India Mobile Congress in a joint ceremony. I think this is a powerful symbol of the deep ties between the ITU and India. Ties that were at the heart of our meaningful conversation last year when I had the great pleasure to inaugurate together with the Honorable Prime Minister, the ITU Area Office and Innovation Center. Since then, it's been an incredible year for digital. As digital innovation in AI and other emerging technologies continues unabated, world leaders came together just a few weeks ago in New York and adopted the Pact of the Future and its global digital compact. They sent a powerful message to the world that our future is digital and we can and we must write it together. On that historic occasion, the Honorable Prime Minister, you stressed the need for global digital governance and you made India's ambition very clear to lead by example and to share its digital public infrastructure with the entire world. DPI was a big priority during India's G20 presidency, where ITU had the pleasure to be a knowledge partner. The world has a lot to learn from what India has accomplished with the unified payments interface, Aadhaar, and other building blocks of today's digital economy. Standards are the engine that powers these platforms to operate at scale, giving every Indian with a mobile device access to life-changing services. And that's why we're all here today. Because we know that standards build trust, trust, nurtures inclusion, and inclusion can unlock the full potential of digital and emerging technologies for everyone, everywhere, including the third of humanity that's still offline. Honorable Prime Minister, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, this global gathering, the first of its kind in Asia, calls for bold, collective action. In the next 10 days, we can, and I firmly believe we can, we can strengthen the role of international standards as the bedrock of global digital governance. One of our most urgent tasks is ensuring that AI is developed responsibly and as a force for good. As we work to drive progress in this decade and beyond, let's ensure that standards help to level the playing field for innovation. Let's align technological progress with digital inclusion. And ladies and gentlemen, together, let's write a digital future that is more connected, that's secure, that's responsible, and that is sustainable for all. Thank you, and Danya Watt, thank you.